Hi, my name is Kaylee Hall and today I don't need my headphones on because I'm not monitoring this. I can't actually hear it because I haven't set up monitoring. Uh, this microphone just arrived from Kmart and I'll tell you about the microphone shortly. When It's not about the $45 New Zealand microphone. It's about the Sony HXV 400 and 400V and 400. There's two HX. There's a 400 and 400V, something like that. Um, I've had it for quite a few years. I know it's years old. Mine's like brand new because I've only used it a few times photographing in the fields. And I bought it because it's got an amazing zoom. This thing will zoom, zoom, zoom right in to the top of a mountain from, you know, five, ten kilometers away. I can zoom right up and get a photo for my paintings. Not that I've got any paintings setting up here in the home studio. This is going to be my home YouTube studio, but uh, I don't have many toys yet. Uh, like pretty things to hang on the wall. Right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the in OBS. I'm in obsproject.com. I've got that running on my computer here, and I'm just going to click into the scene. And down here, I've got the camera. The HSV camera is uh, here. If you look at me, I've got it um, plugged into an HDMI cable here. I can plug power and keep this powered up too, but I charged it up before. And that's what you'll normally see, right? Add to the HDMI. And there is one, two, three, four little, if I blow that up a bit, you can see the four things, little gray. There's one, two, three, four focus things. The, the, the camera uh, didn't ever know it was going to be a, a webcam, right? It was only going to be, that was going to keep the lens focused. But we can turn it off. And there's so many videos and thousands of people trying to figure out how to turn off those four things. And you just come to the side of your microphone, uh, side of your camera, and you've got uh, auto focus at the top. Click it down one to digital manual. And then click it one more down to manual focus. And those four dots will be gone. And then you want to come up the top of the camera, turn your dial to go down to where's video. I've gone the wrong way, have I? Doesn't matter, it's a circle. There, there. Oh, where's the video option? It's not letting me go to it. Oh, there it is. And then press the shoot button. And um, I can make that big for a sec so you can see how good it is. Um, it's not in focus. If I just turn the focus ring to the left, it should focus. It goes. We'll just do it normally. If I actually turned it back to automatic, hold that down halfway, just focus, and then there we go. Turn back to video. Press the shoot button. Because you're not actually recording, it's just sending a signal down to um, down to here, down to my little blue cheap um, 4K USB capture card going into the computer, and then and the the capture card thinks it says I think uh, when I turn it on it it says um, it thinks we're plugging into a 4K TV, so that cheap capture card works in 4K. It's great. Um, so if I press the, I'll just put this down on my hand on the keyboard there, get that to hold still, and then I'm just going to hold down the alt button, right? And then with my mouse, I'm going to hop, click the left button, and I'll just make that a bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to alt button. I'm going to bring that side in. I'm going to go down, hold down the left mouse, pull it up. Now I'm going to go over to the right, pull that in. And then I'm going to pull this. Uh, before I do that, I'll just show you when I go focus in and out. So you can see the wide 
and um, in and out. So we just want to press Alt, so it just goes a bit lower than that. There we go. And then I can widen that back up. Look at whatever we want to look at. Now I'll tighten that up in there. Let's pop this up here for a second. So there's your clean HDMI. Pretty cool. Didn't have to do any software. I know the uh, Sony A100 or A, A, A400, the, one of them you have to do like a software patch to get clay, clean HDMI. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Now I think I've set up a scene. There we go. There it is. So I could be doing a demonstration. Uh, obviously I need to change the lighting because the lighting, so that's why it's not focusing properly is the lighting's all focused on my face and not on that side of the room. Um, what else? Uh, the audio. So if I go back to that screen, you can see if I scroll down, here is the audio for, so this is Logitech Brio, and I've got the Logitech Brio zoomed in on my, a lot, because it does a really wide screen. It's a beautiful camera, the Logitech Brio. Um, and I see, you know, every YouTube video is trying to sell you the newest camera that runs as a webcam, but USB webcam, you just can't beat it, the Logitech Brio, it's brilliant. Um, I've got the 922, which also run fine, but the, the Logitech Brio just seems like a, Real nice clear step up for me. Um, so this one here where you can see the grey audio, I've got it muted. It's also, I've set up, the instead of using the camera's audio, I've got it set to take the audio input from this mic as well. But it, see it's running two lots. If I turn that on, um, you'll hear the, the gap between them, the actual lag between the, the camera and where's my face? Hello, hello, how are you? So that slight lag is just, if I turn this on for a second, and you can edit the lag, it's not much, but you can edit it. If I turn this on, I'm going to sound like, sort of like Darth Vader. It's just a, um, it's two channels coming in from the same mic, right? Hello, hello. 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 I'm, I'm your father, father, Luke. Was that close? Try it again. I'm your father, Luke. I don't know. I'm your father, Luke. I don't know. It's a good try. Anyway, I think we've done it. Oh, yeah, microphones. So uh, this is a $45, or that's, that's probably, I mean, in the States, this mic's probably 20 bucks, to be honest. Um, it would be 22 pounds in um, the UK. And it's USB straight into my little laptop. You can see the little... Um, uh, ThinkPad there, just a Core i7. Uh, it was a gift from a friend, but I bought the little dock. If I focus in the Sony thing there, it's on a dock. And I'm going to run another screen there, and then I'm going to run another screen there. It's a $7 light as well, $7. It just runs off um, making my face look handsome. Um, yeah. Pretty budget, except I do have like really expensive gear too, right? Which I would use for broadcasting. So Joe Rogan made this mic famous, the Shure SM7B, which you have to ride up to your mouth. Um, this one, not so much. So this is broadcast. Um, this would work in any radio station around the world. Uh, it's a RE320. Um, the RE20 is probably the most famous one in the world, famous broadcast microphone. But uh, when I was doing ads, I'd do like quite a ballsy sort of um, ad today. We'll be doing a live cross from the Tour of Southland, only on the Rock FM. And uh, so this mic, uh, if I was doing those ads um, or like for my friends, pro, uh, pro storage, like for on More FM, um, if you're moving across New Zealand, you want to move with ProStorage.co. .nz. See, this $45 mic's handling it, right? Except I haven't got any of the um, filters or uh, what do you call them? Uh, processing. None of it's turned on. So down here, I've got a DBX way down there. There's a DBX286S, which I would normally run this through. I've also got a um, little Neumann, we German, beautiful German, uh, German microphone. I'll grab it back in two secs. Uh, 
Uh, this is my Wii. BCMC, it's a dynamic mic. I go for the dynamic mics, right? So, um, stunning wee microphone. Oh, bang. Uh, I love it. And it makes my voice, it's great just for audio, but I think they work for like snare drums too, I'm not sure. Um, so when I'm recording radio ads at More FM in Invercargill, I'll be using a uh, TLM-104, a Neumann TLM-104. This is a BCM-705, which is just beautiful, just for chatting. So this would be good in this environment, except I only need a USB mic for YouTube. I don't need, a, uh, I don't need to use those mics, so the, they'll last a lot longer. Um, yeah, so I haven't done all the settings properly on this mic today, but I will get it sorted. So you wouldn't normally hear me do that. On those other mics, once I've got, say, with the DBX or um, digital uh, filters, you wouldn't hear me do that. Uh, you wouldn't hear me breathe in. You wouldn't hear uh, any room noise or the echo you can kind of hear in this whole room through the whole thing. Or if I bumped this cheap, this is like a, uh, well, this arm came free with this microphone that's holding this. Uh, shall I zoom out a wee bit so you can see it? So we just go video capture device and then um, properties, configure video, camera control, zoom back. So there's the natural view and okay. Okay, right. So this is just a, a really budget arm, but if you're very careful, say if you're gaming, um, whatever you're doing, you probably do want some filters and processing on so you don't hear the, and the, your mum telling you that dinner's ready or whatever. I don't have anyone here to do that, but uh, let me just move that in. This is a pro filter. I love this filter. It's a metal filter. So these mics, um, came out one comes with a little material one that's going to catch all your DNA and all your spit, but I love this metal one. Um, and here's my pro mic arm that I would normally have my XLR, normally have the XLR mics on that, and that would go on the desk and look stunning in a wee studio. So I'll be doing that at my art gallery in Milton. I'll have those all set up for my little radio station there that I'll be broadcasting on again. Very shortly, COVID sort of shut things down for the last couple of years, but uh, we're starting to get going again. I thought YouTube would be a great way uh, to get into it. So hopefully I helped you with your Sony HX camera, and you could do demonstrations or whatever. If I was doing a painting demonstration, I could have my hand there, and you could see me, and you could see that I could, I, oh, if I say if I had another scene, there we go, there's me, there's me painting a picture, or doing whatever, you know. I think it's a great idea. Um, just seems a shame not to use these things where you can. Cool. Oh, well, it's a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it because I've got, I think at the time of recording, I've got 21 subscribers, some buddies off, you, off uh, Facebook that have been kind enough to uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll slowly set up a channel here at home. I'm in the Catlins in New Zealand at the southern end of the world. And it's middle of summer here, actually. Great day today. But um, yesterday was so hot for Christmas Day, Boxing Day today. And I thought, wow, I'll do that clean HDMI video for the Sony camera. Because I think people, there'll be some people in the world that still have one of these old things. Um, I've kept mine pretty immaculate. and takes beautiful photos. And uh, I'll be able to use it for YouTube, which is super cool. And yeah, I think the Logitech Brio up there does a lovely job. I actually picked the Logitech up for $129 in New Zealand. I think they're like closer to $400. Um, so I was happy with that. And I only just got it going today. It's the first time I've used the Logitech Brio. And first time I've used the Kmart mic. And I think it's doing a wonderful job. Um, you might think the audio sounds a bit funny, but it's because I haven't set anything up. I haven't set up... Um, so there's noise gates I haven't set up. There's filters uh, I like. Um, oh, what have we got on the DBX? Um, compressor, noise gate, all those sorts of things I need to set up so that you don't hear me go or you don't hear uh, a fan noise running. But I use a wee laptop now. So, um, yeah, it's all very good. Just trying to make things easy for YouTube. Because audio on YouTube, right, uh, you want to be recording it. 
was it 41 point 44.1 and i think some people use 48,000 but um is it 44.1 yeah because you double that by the bit rate and it comes to 22 uh, decibels and we hear at 20 decibels and it's such simple so simple you don't need very expensive uh, the other mic you could just get is you know how on stage all the singers use a Shure SM58? Well, there's a Shure SM100, and I think it's a $100 microphone. And if you wanted to do host like a podcast on um, YouTube, that Shure is $99 mic in New Zealand, so it's probably 50 bucks in the States. It's a really good mic. It's black, um, and it carries beautiful audio because audio is so simple. This mic uh, from Kmart goes up to 192 by 24 bits so you multiply the 192 kilohertz by 24 gives you about 5000 um, per second is it five megabytes a second or something uh, but by the time you recorded that uploaded it to youtube you're going to suck up everyone's internet at the other end you don't need it you need the 44.1 or whatever it is i can't remember off the top of my head i should though but um it's all good so kaylee hall signing out Please subscribe to the channel. Let's get me off 21. I'd love to get to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to um, talk about below. If you want to talk radio, if you want to talk art, um, if you want to just talk about the Sony camera, go through some settings, that'd be cool. I'm not a huge photographer. I just need it for taking uh, landscape uh, photos for my paintings. And um, I'll try doing a video in the gallery as well. But I want a home studio as well so I can work from home. So yeah, I'd love a subscription. That'd be awesome. I'd be real stoked if you do that for me. Yay. Thanks for coming along. Ah, check out another video. Actually, I've got a gallery tour in my videos. So just click on videos, um, subscribe down there, there, down there, subscribe button. And um, thanks. See you real soon.